This is a continuation of the previous lesson. We run it. We pick a date. Uh, the city, if we try New York, it will not show Baltimore. Baltimore is in Maryland. I work there. First name, Benny. If I write Ben, this will still be fine. But quarter, oh. Okay, we remove this, we remove this, close it. Now, let's give some spacing here. Now we'll insert input drop down. and the items distinct long list that's my list and city distance and city distinct there is sometimes a delay here So we will save it as the drop down. Drop down. again so sometimes there is some caching issue and it's hard to figure out why power apps behave sometimes not always sometimes drop down it And oh, it's gonna work. And it loaded here. So what we are going to do is we are going to replace uh, oh that was my other app open ah yes, you can use the same one let's take this two filter Did it save?
now for this so we have to uh, open this we have to put the city label here and eventually we will remove the test input so this will change drop down drop down one dot selected dot result this instead of text input dot text okay now let's run it 816 what's on 816 8 7 8 16 is more Yes, we got Benny. Benny cannot escape from us right there. Okay, now we don't need this text box. We don't need this. Publish date and the city drop down. So, everyone ready? San Diego, San Diego, we can uh, group by city, or filter by, San Diego, apply, San Diego is in date 1420, oh, 2020 future date future date January 4th wow we got it Rufus Rufus game Rufus okay <clears throat> so we have seen how we can use a drop down to uh, get the to filter the information we can use the also date between and no, that's it so basically the, uh, the same code we just have to change drop down dot select dot result and we populate drop down from that list itself by doing distinct long list city if we do not do that city will appear multiple times so because there are multiple like multiple times San Diego it will be populated with a huge list so we do a distinct uh, that's it in this lesson the filtering the gallery from a drop